Yo, so um, this is the first video for JumpJet. I'm Jake. Um, I created JumpJet uh, and I'm working on it at the moment. But anyway, it's just going to be like bunches of videos that kind of help beginners or help developers um, try to get better, practice the interviews, stuff like that. That's a total aside. This is like a kind of a random video, but um, I'm currently hosting uh, JumpJet on Firebase. And um, I've been running it through optimization programs and like stuff like Pingdom tools, trying to work out, um, you know, what the bottlenecks are. And one thing that kept coming up was uh, I didn't have cache headers for my images and stuff like that. So anyway, um, as you can see here, uh, probably like a billion tabs. And here I'm on the firebase.google.com uh, website. And if you see here, um, I'm looking at the docs uh, for kind of more advanced properties. So this is like the deployment configuration, which you can find in the firebase.json file. So if you have a project and you're using Firebase, then you'll have this firebase.json file. And the cool thing is that since essentially Firebase is acting as your server, at least for your front end stuff, or um, well, at least in the case of JumpJet, you can go into the firebase.json file and uh, change certain properties um, that change the way that your uh, content is served. And so I finally realized the reason I was getting this um, error uh, is because I didn't set the, uh, the headers for images. So down here, I'm over on the, uh, the right-hand side, down at the headers, you'll see here that you can set some rules um, and especially like cache times. Um, and that's like this kind of cache control thing. So here's an example of actually for JumpJet, the, uh, the Firebase uh, config. And what I've just done, you'll see here, I'm gonna reverse it all. So I've just started to optimize this bit I've added in um, like some ignore rules and stuff. Then I had a bit of trouble with formatting, as you're probably going to see. Um, but here is the important part, which is uh, the headers. So this part here will configure your Firebase deployment to add in these cache control headers. And that's going to remove that error. Uh, as you can see over here, um, I was getting. Uh, you know, pretty good marks across the board, except for this um, caching of static content. So, yeah, for anyone using Firebase, specifically, um, I'm using Angular 2. So there might be uh, a couple of little things that look different, like the, the dist um, folder there. But yeah, really, that's all you have to do. Go in there, add in some uh, static cache rules, and that should really... Um, speed up your, your deployment and also stop uh, those red marks appearing when you uh, check your site speed. So hope that helps anyone using Firebase. Cool.